A community heartbroken by the loss of Olympic gold medalist, 37-year-old Steve Holcomb. It's hard to put into perspective. Holcomb, one of the most decorated bobsled athletes in the world, was found dead in his room at the Olympic Training Center on Saturday. The exact cause of his death is under investigation, but team officials believe he died in his sleep. Steve was just a big part of my life, and it was, it was an honor for me to be part of it. USA Luge coach Bill Tavares distinctly remembers the first time he met Holcomb. It was at a gas station in Park City, Utah. The then 16-year-old Holcomb was interested in the bobsled in the back of Tavares' truck. My next Steve sighting was here and when he was trying out. And as they say, the rest is history. In Tavares' eyes, the three-time Olympian and three-time Olympic medalist was a legend both on and off the track. He liked to go in his room, play with his computers. But the, when you had time with him, those were the special times. And you know, going into an Olympic year, I'm going to miss that. The luge coach is confident Holcomb would have made it to South Korea to compete in the 2018 Olympics. Instead, the Olympian and National Guard veteran leaves some big shoes to fill. Steve was one of a kind. He served his country not only as an athlete, as a soldier. Um, he was he was a big part of a lot of people and he, a big a good part of everybody that he touched, leaving behind a legacy that will live on.